Today we're asking the cards, the Rider White deck and the Oracle deck, is now the right time? In this pick a card tarot reading, we are asking the question, is now the right time? Is now the right time? This could be about anything. It could be about changing a relationship. Is it now the right time to move in together? Is it now the right time to get a mortgage? Is it now the right time to start a new project? Is it now the time to put your ideas into motion? Is now the time to reach out to the person who you've had an argument with? Whatever you're now, is now the right time this reading is for you i'm going to do a meditation card selection meditation so that you go towards the cards which are for you and then i'm going to do a six month spread with a rider white tarot deck and then i'm going to get clarity with the oracle cards and then we will pull some charms as well so if you haven't already subscribed give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this if you have any ideas for pick a card questions let me know in the in the box in the comments below and i will i will make a video on it if you'd like a personal reading visit my website i have reasonable prices and i'm always happy to do personal readings for people so we're gonna get an in-depth six month spread of what's going to be happening over the next six months so that you can decide is now the right time to make the changes that you need to make so you can use the timestamps below to navigate through this video. There's a card meditation so that you can pick the reading for you. And then there's the list of readings as well. This video is for you, a message from the universe. And let's make it as easy as possible for you to get the message that you need today. To make this video as accessible as possible, you can add captions, auto-generated, they're about 95% correct. You can slow the video down and you can speed the video up so we work at your pace. You can change the quality of the screen so that you can see the cards, turn it to 1080. You can also add it to a playlist, watch later or create your own. This is what I do with ASMR videos and also the timestamps are in the comments below. So I've got three readings for you to pick from today. This is your pick a card tarot reading for is now the right time i've got reading number one number two and number three i'm going to talk you through a guided meditation so that your energy can connect to the right one if you're drawn between a couple of them don't worry about it whatever one your energy takes you towards today that's your intuition taking you where that's the universe leading you there even if the last minute you change your mind don't worry where you end up is where you're meant to be don't stress about it this isn't a stressful environment. So if we take a deep breath out and then a nice normal breath back in again and then release it nice and deep. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and when you open your eyes again you will go towards, your energy will be drawn towards the reading that is for you today. So close your eyes and you find yourself in a forest. And the trees are really tall and you can't see the sky and the sun keeps flickering through the leaves and there's tree there's um birds in the trees and you're following the path through the forest and as you go deeper into the forest you're seeing lots of different wildlife there's bunny jumping around you feel really warm and you feel at peace and now slowly open your eyes and let your energy flow towards the cards that you're attracted to today. This is reading one, reading two and reading three. You can use the timestamps below to jump to your reading. So this is reading number one, the energy that you've connected with the rune symbol means harvest, right actions. So that's the energy that you've connected with today. In this reading, we're asking the question, is now the right time? So I'm going to ask the Rider White Smith tarot deck and I'm going to ask the oracles and we're going to have a look at some charms and see what comes out. I'm going to do a six month spread 
and we'll see what energy comes out whether now is the right time whether it might be best to wait for a bit what areas your next six months are going to be focusing on and whatever your question is it might be is it the right time to look for a new job is it the right time to move forward in your career is it the right time to move house is it the right time to apply for a mortgage is it the right time to start a new relationship is it the right time to step your relationship up a bit is it the right time to reach out to that person that you've got conflict with is it the right time to make an investment is it the right time to start the project that you have in the back of your mind is it the right time to move your ideas forward so whatever your is now the right time the next six months spread is going to get you giving you a really good idea so if your thing is is it the right time to start a new project and there's going to be a lot of problems within relationships and friendships then you might want to delay it or you might just want to throw your eye throw yourself into that to get away from conflict or it might be you know so let's have a look let's see what information that we can gain i would really appreciate it if you could let me know in the comments like if this resonates with you, whether it's given you clarity and insight, if it's been helped you to make a decision for now and stuff. I really do like feedback. I like to know. I'm I'm quite nosy. I'm I'm a, I'm a nosy person. The cards tell me so much, but then it's nice to know. Also, give the video a thumbs up so that I know that you like this kind of video, and I'll keep making them. So I'll put your symbol over there. I've already reset the decks. I do that by shuffling, uh, dealing them into four and then I start shuffling them. So we'll start with the Rider White deck. I'm just going to open up the energy between us. So if we slow it down a little bit, begin to really focus. Focus on your question, is now the right time? whatever it is really focus on it imagine it put your energy into it breathe out really deeply and breathe back in normally and let's really get the energy opening up between you and the universe see what messages that we can get for you what advice we can get for you any warnings or delays that we can get see what kind of spread we get so i'll do a six month i'll do three cards for each month and then the oracle deck i will pull three cards so that we can get um an overall theme and then we'll have a play with the charms to see what comes out so i'm going to split my deck into four Four to me is a really spiritual number. It's the four seasons, the four elements, the four pillars of your house, the four corners for a good foundation, four corners of the world. The four angels standing around us, protecting us, forming a circle to keep our energy flow safe and secure so that we can really focus on is now the right time so focus your energy now the one that i've been drawn towards is this one okay so i'm going to start with the first three months the first month, Empress reversed, which means upset insecurity. The Two of Wands reversed, which is partnership problems. And then the Ace of Wands, which is path to success. So you may be having um, upset at home, even if it's work maybe it's because you want to go to a new job whatever upset and insecurity that's going on at the moment it's causing partnership problems it's causing you to be frustrated 
but I think the reason why you've come here today is because the universe wants you to know that if you go alone, if you do it alone, it's a creative beginning, a brighter future. The Ace of Wands is all about the past success, the, you're growing something, you're... I think towards the end of this month, I think today is probably not the right time to make any kind of decisions, but over the next two, three weeks, you're going to start getting really frustrated with what is going on around you. You've had enough. You're really sick of it. This probably is something that's been going on for quite a while now. This is something that's been really stewing. If you're thinking about moving, you're really going to start putting your feelers out to see if there's any new places. Maybe there's somewhere that you've seen. This is a really good card to have. So by the end of the first month, you're going to really find the courage to put all your ideas together. So let's have a look at the second month. We have the Three of Cups reversed. We have the Knight of Cups reversed. And then we have the Death. So the Three of Cups reversed is about selfishness and meanness. And the Knight of Cups is about underhand behaviour and deception. So whoever, if it's something you're going to be going ahead with with someone, I think during your second month you'll probably work out who to trust and who not to trust. There may be a betrayal of your trust. There may be someone who's but you have maybe you have to be quite selfish for this to go forward you have to be quite selfish maybe you have to keep it to yourself you 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 don't want anyone stealing your ideas you don't if it's if you're in a relationship maybe now isn't the right time to move it forward because you, there may be stuff that you don't know so towards the end of the first month you're going to have this epiphany of yes now is the time i really am going to go for it and then during your second month you're really going to be laying down the working out who to trust and what you want you have to focus on you you are the most important person in the world even if you're responsible for other people if you don't look after yourself you don't have energy for anyone else it's really important that you do and then towards the end of the second month you're going to have a massive change so you, you're going to have a change in the way you're thinking or the change that you are wanting to happen is going to happen and it's really going to realign things sometimes we have to break things to make things better sometimes things go wrong maybe you are on one path and things go wrong and you have a massive change so let's look up look at the three months after that to see what the death card is about so we have the ace of swords reversed which is about abuse of power and justice we have the eight of cups reversed which is about recklessness and like uh i can't word it like recklessness and something that you thought was going to be good but it wasn't so it's a bit unrealistic and then the ace of pentacles reversed so i don't like that so I think for the first, so this is the first three months, whoever the Knight of Cups is, you have to watch them. It may be a woman, it may be a man, it may be a boss, it may be a partner, it may be a family member, it may be someone that you trust. They're, just watch them. They're not all that they seem. They are quite underhand. They, they are selfish. Selfishness comes out here. They're going to cause a massive change. So the decision that you come to at the end of the first month, beware who you trust in the second month because the Ace of Swords is about abuse of power and justice. This is about um, living in a fantasy, un recklessness and unrealistic. And then the Ace of Coins reversed is a lot about anxiety and being too materialistic so concentrating too much on your financial gain so i think i think the knight of cups is going to be linked to the ace of swords reversed 
which is injustice they're going to trigger a change in you maybe it's a change for the better maybe you suddenly wake up and you go no i've had enough of them i've had enough of them they have treated me badly before i don't need it again they have betrayed me before they have they have been going behind your back and talking or whatever you're going to have a wake up call and the ace of coins or ace of pentacles you're going to be quite anxious after the first three months you're going to be quite anxious so today don't leap into making any decisions towards the first of the end of the first month you're gonna have that idea but i'm gonna just let you know figure out who are the key players in your life and who you want to take forward so let's have a look at the next three months after that so for the first three months it's going to be quite slow moving it's going to be in alignment of who to trust who not to trust who you're going to take forward after this massive change at the beginning of the third month and you're you're going to be very anxious about money there's going to be a problem with money so let's see what happens in the next three months so we have the four of pentacles reversed we have the nine of swords and we have the Harry hierophant so the four of pentacles reversed is about the fear of lost and being over attached so any money problems that has been triggered by this change you're going to be really worried about it i think you're going to be worried about it more than actual reality the fear of something is always worse than the reality of something that's going to keep you up at night you're going to feel like there's no way out but there's a ladder here you can climb up it there's always a way out when we reach the bottom of something we can always get out again there's always a way out this is all about inner fear fear of loss this is all anxiety so and i think it all comes back to the knight of cups whoever that person is maybe fate female maybe male it may be i don't think it's someone who's got absolute authority over you i think maybe they're on the same level of you or below if it's to do with work maybe it's a supervisor maybe it's someone who works on your level at work they're going to trigger something that's, and it's going to leave you very anxious for about a month. But then you're going to feel better. We have the hair of fat, which is number five. So this is all about um, tradition and relying on your culture and religion and faith and spirituality and... Um, good advice someone may come back in and give you good advice you may learn something about the knight of cups that suddenly makes sense you're gonna gain spiritual guidance you're gonna have light come into your world that thing you know that thing where when we're at our darkest moment hope creeps in we go to bed one night and we just think oh no we can't do this anymore we can't do it i can't do it and you're in absolute despair but then you wake up in the morning and you feel refreshed and you feel ready to go that is what's going to be happening in your fourth month all this has kind of shook you which is not going to be a massive shock because you've got the forewarning now you still have this idea you still have a bright future ahead of you but you need to go through this journey anything new and anything that changes always causes fears worries and anxieties but you're going to feel better at the end of the fourth month you are going to feel better so let's see what happens in month five we have the seven of wands reversed we have the six of coins and we have the seven of cups so just by the numbers we've gone number from number five to number seven and then six and then seven so things will be making progress the first four months it's going to be up and down up and down but by the end of the four months i think what you really need to do is at the end of the first month you're going to get the idea and you're going to get frustrated and want it to get moving and moving but you really need to wait until the end of the fourth month to kick it off so then we have the seven of wands reversed which is lost opportunities and lack of courage so all this is going to knock your confidence so maybe an opportunity comes up 
that you're not going to take you're going to be worried about it you're going to think no i can't do it you're not going to have the courage to stand up and say yes this is me so this card can be reversed don't let this fear and anxiety of whatever it is maybe if it's you're waiting for a mortgage your money's not coming through don't let it wait the hope that you wake up with that hope that fills your body don't let it lose opportunities but normally if an opportunity is lost it does come back round again if it's an opportunity that you're meant to have it may be that you lose an opportunity that you're meant to lose and you feel quite wounded by it don't because the universe works in ways of the things that we don't get are the things that the universe know are not going to be good the universe can see a year five year ten years in the head what we want right now isn't what we always get because the universe knows it's not going to lead you to happiness. So have faith. Have faith in your inner feeling, in your ability, in your gut instinct. Don't give in to anxiety though. So then the six of coins is about, the six of pentacles is about giving and receiving so you may receive some financial help so this there's going to be a real shift the money's going to come in or it may be that you're sharing your time with someone there's going to be a real shift there's going to be a boost to the money to make this happen if you're in a partnership there's going to be less worry about bills so that's a very positive card to have and then we have the Seven of Cups, which is desires, dreams, passions. Be careful what you spend your money on, careful what you set your heart on. You may find that during the fifth month of this process, you're going to suddenly, it's going to suddenly open up a lot of doors and you're not going to know what to choose. You're going to have lost opportunities. Don't worry about that. Really don't worry about that. But then you're going to have a lot of opportunities and maybe you're going to be frozen within yourself and you're like i don't know what to do for the best i don't know what direction to go in if you feel like that just take a step back and think about it you don't have to rush decisions if someone's making you rush a decision you have to question why do they don't why don't they want me to think this through because if someone said you need to decide today you need to decide today that's hot selling that means they're hiding something. If they give you time just to sit back, get advice, maybe a bit of legal advice, maybe advice from someone you trust, that's a genuine deal. That's that's the real deal, you know. So let's have a look at the sixth month. We have the Page of Swords reversed, the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, which we want to see. It's going to be a rough six months. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I really am not. So we've got the page of swords reversed, which means underhand behaviour again. So it may be this person popping up again, but this time they've moved down to a page. They're less important to you. Or if it's been a job, you've moved up, you've stepped up. If it's someone to do with your relationship, they've got less power now. If it is the same person, they've got less power now. They just look childish and silly. So they're quite cunning and they're underhand and they, they're they just silly. The power that they had before, not that they had much, they've got less. And they know it. You've come out of this stronger. You know, you've had the fear and the anxiety. They... They have whatever effect they had, you're going to feel, no, do you know what? I'm not buying it this time. I'm not going into it this time. And then we have the King of Pentacles, which we really want to see when it's is now the right time. It's all about wonderful success, turning things to gold, financial security. What's yours is yours. And it's going to enable you to fund your family. If you've got family, it's going to bring you wealth. It's going to do it. So looking at this spread, the end of the first month, you're going to get that surge of I'm going to go for it, you know, but you, you're then going to have a couple of months where it's going to be 
oh, am I doing the right thing? You may be betrayed by someone. There is going to be change. There's going to be an abuse of power. You, it's going to be highlighted. It's going to be a bit unrealistic. And then think, you know, don't focus on the money too much. I once read a quote that says, do what you do what you find passionate and the money will follow. And I do think that's true. You're going to have worry about money and you're going to just be worrying, but you're going to get that drive of hope. You're going to feel like you're losing opportunities. And I think that might trigger you to kickstart. So opportunities are going to come in. Don't be frozen by choice. If someone's trying to rush you into decision, question it. Always when always question what someone else's motives is. If they're trying to back you into a corner and force you to make a decision, take a step back and think, what are they gaining from this? If someone's telling you something about someone else, look at them and think, why are you? What? How are you benefiting from giving me this information? Don't always get sucked into other people's games. You're going to have financial um, gain. You're going to, someone's going to share wealth with you or you're going to share wealth with someone else. It's going to be a very, maybe your cash flow will increase and become better. Whatever worries that you had are going to go. This person's going to lose their power. They're not that important to you anymore. And you're going to come out of it. In six months time, you're going to come out of it. And if you haven't yet got the monetary gain, you're going to know for a fact in your heart that that's where it's going to take you. You're going to know that is now the right time. Six months time, you're going to know definitely this is the right time for me. So I think the key time is going to be at the end of four months. At the end of this month, you're going to feel this is where I'm going and sod it. That's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be hard. Anything that ch any changes are always hard. It's never easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. I think maybe that you find it hard to keep in a routine, and you have all these ideas and things you want to do, and you find it hard to drive it forward, which is normal. It's it's what happens. But you are going to find that you are going to get that surge of energy, and you're just going to move it forward. The swords are normally enemies of the coins, but the coins are going to win. The coins coming out of this on top, a lot of the swords are reversed. So the coins are going to come out on top. It's going to be a real like, um, clash between your ideas and money so it may be that you've got all these ideas and, and goals and everything and that you're going to feel like it's not going to bring me money it is going to bring you money your ideas and your dreams are going to bring you money your i don't see much here to do with relationships so if you're in a relationship and wondering should i move up a level i think no next six months don't because there might be something else coming in in about five, five, six months time, there may be more choices for you. So whatever this is about, leave me a comment below because I would like to know. I am really nosy. I'm really curious. I, you know, I find tower cards really uncanny at times. If it makes sense, let me know. If it doesn't make sense, let me know as well. If there's something in the cards that you've seen that really means something for you, Take that. The card, this reading is your reading. This is you gaining insight for the next six months of what you should do. So again, I reset these cards before the reading. I do that by dealing them into four piles and then bring them together. I'm going to split it into four piles again, asking the angels for oracle guidance. What overall theme can we get from this reading? Now focus your energy. I'm drawn towards this one. So we just want to see what the overall energy is for the next six months. Discontent, discontent and boredom, which backs up the first month. The thing that's going to, is forcing you to question is now the right time. You're, you're going to get really bored. And then we have authority, 
which might be the Knight of Cups. It's also a four. And then we have accelerated motion. So yeah, once we get to the end of the fourth month, things are gonna move quickly. We've got two fours and an eight. Eight's a really lucky number, a Chinese number for wealth, which backs up that number. Two fours. Fours are about great plans and being wise and building your foundation. And then once you've got your foundation together, you can it's going to move quick. It is going to move quick. It may be even at six months, the money's going to start coming in. Who knows? I would love to know. If this is your reading, come back in six months and let me know what happened. Because I this is this is exciting. It's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Maybe you want to come back once a month and keep checking. So let's ask the charms for any other information that we can get for the next six months to help you make decisions and choices about whether now is the right time. Okay, so we've got a Q. So that may be someone's initial. It may be questions. Make sure you ask the right questions. It may be your quest. This is your quest in life. If the initial makes any sense to you, leave a comment below and let me know. The crown, the king of pentacles. This is your six months time. Things are going to be a lot, lot better. We have a Sagittarius. which also is the ones and we have optimistic so there may be a Sagittarius coming into your life you might be a Sagittarius Sagittarius might be reinforcing the ace of wands because that means wands we have your angels your angels are going to be very much guiding you through this they're going to take the power out of this person they're going to when you have the night when you have your crisis, your, when you have your anxiety, your angels are going to be reaching out their hands and guiding you through it. Now we have three things that mean that's drinking and these are chemical symbols which can mean substance abuse. It can mean um, too much coffee, it can mean too much eating, anything that upsets the chemicals of your body, maybe illegal substances watch it don't self-medicate although it may be really tempting don't you need a clear head you need a clear head so that your spirituality can reach in and guide you and bring you forward every time we use our vices it blocks our angels from helping us we need to be open and clear-headed for our angels to reach us and then we have a dolphin which is all about accelerated motion they're very intelligent creatures they their brains are just amazing and they they can give you guidance guide you home so as i said let me know let me know if this reading's been helpful let me know if you're back in six months time and this has happened and this helped you to avoid this person and if whatever theme this is about let me know what your question is is now the right time for what is what is it for if you know anyone who might like my videos please share my videos because the universe likes to send messages out to people in funny ways um so good luck for the next six months it is going to be worth it in the end it's going to be hard don't give in to anxiety don't give in to your vices I'm now going to close our energy down. I'm going to wrap a protective bubble around you so you can go on with your day or go to sleep or whatever it is you have planned. I'm going to close our energy. It's been really nice working with you today. And I hope, I hope the next six months you, you get what you want and you will get what you want. So thank you very much for watching. Leave me a thumbs up to let me know to make more videos like this. And I will see you soon.
Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarrow-daily.co.uk. Welcome to reader number two. Your energy connected with the rune symbol that means the tree of life. The question we're asking the tarot today is, is now the right time? This is your pick a card reading. So whatever your question is, whatever it's about, it may be about a house move, it may be about a career change. Is this the right time to start a new project? Is it the right time to step up your relationship? Is it the right time to buy a house? Is it the right time to start anything new? Whatever your question is, leave me a mess, uh, thing in the comments below and let me know what your is it the right time for. Let me know, just let me know because I'm really interested, I'm quite nosy. Give me a thumbs up to let me know if you want me to keep making videos like this because I do enjoy making them. Um, and it's just good to know that people like them. So I'm going to start with the Rider White deck and then I'm going to move on to the Oracle cards and then we're going to look at some charms as well. With the Rider White deck I'm going to do a six month spread so that you can get an insight over to the energy for the next six months of what might happen which will help you decide now is the right time, maybe in a month's time is the right time, maybe the next six months just going to be a complete washout and it isn't the right time at all. The tarot can help us to see that, can give us a glimpse I love the tarot, It's it knows more than us, knows more than me. It can highlight areas that we just need to work on. So I have already reset both the decks. I do that by dealing the cards into four piles, then I bring them together and give them a good shuffle. I use fours quite a lot because they're a very good number for me they mean plans and tradition and strong foundation and they're about the four seasons the four elements the four corners of our house four areas of our life so i'm gonna split the deck into four so i'm gonna ask the four angels to surround us and put a protective circle around us to open up the energy between us so that we can get a clear energy flow so the universe can give you some insight for the next six months so we just take a deep breath out for a minute and then a normal breath back in again now focus your energy focus about your question is now the right time is now the right time now the one I'm drawn towards is this one. So I'm going to do the next six months, see what comes up. Hermit reversed. Four of swords and the devil. So the hermit reversed may be you right now. The hermit reversed is about... Um, rejecting rejecting things and sol not just solitude but isolation you could be there could be something that's led you to say no is this the right time maybe something's been happening in the last year or so that's led you to a point where you felt that you need to withdraw there's some kind of temptation that's going to try and tempt you back into whatever it has been that you've moved away from or you've been rejected from or you have rejected maybe there's some kind of help that you rejected the four of swords is about withdrawal grief quiet contemplation making plans thinking before we do um the artwork on this card is about how soldiers and knights used to go and pray in a chapel and and spend time for themselves before they went off to battle so that could be preparation for that the the devil's going to try and tempt you back into whatever it is that you've rejected maybe it's a lifestyle maybe you're at a point where you just want things to change beware whatever your vice is the devil's going to try and tap you back in they're going to tempt you 
so you think about what you really want because you have been thinking about it and you will keep thinking about it over this next month is all about you being quiet and just going in on yourself and working out what it is that you want from life don't let anyone take you off the tracks so the second month we have the seven of cups reversed the eight of cups the ace of wands reversed so the seven of cups reversed is unrealistic it's really important whatever you come up with in the first month whatever your idea is whatever whatever your is now the right time is about be realistic because the devil likes to put spanners in the work be if your plans are realistic you'll be fine so be realistic don't set goals don't say right i'm gonna go up at six o'clock every morning i'm gonna do a solid workout and then i'm gonna by eight o'clock in the morning i'm gonna run a marathon and then i'm gonna earn a million pounds don't just do what you can do figure out what you can do and then put it into place set yourself goals i think you have a habit of setting goals and then not being able to stick to it because the devil crops up there's a little devil that sits on your shoulder going oh not today not today not today and then we have the eight of cups it's all about escapism personal development and lifestyle changes so you're really going to have to make some lifestyle changes and then we have the ace of wands reversed which is about false starts so is now the right time i think for the next two months you really need to work on a, a realistic goal because the devil wants to be there the devil doesn't want to be out of the picture the eight of cups is about escapism and lifestyle changes you're gonna have to you're really gonna have to take something away from the first month and a half and you're gonna have to take it away and you're gonna have to leave these behind you need to, there's something that you need to leave behind at the end of the first the second month you're gonna have a false start anything that you think's resolved I don't think it's gonna be so then we have the Empress so whatever it is that you decide that you need to let go and you're going to be waking up going that that wasn't right this wasn't right and i think you're going to have a real wake up call of you're going to really recognize what it is that it is you need to change then the empress comes in which is beautiful and then we have the knight of swords and three of pentacles reversed so we have two threes and a knight of swords. Don't rush. Don't let anyone rush you. Someone might try to rush you. The knight of swords is about um, how fools rush in. It's a call to battle. The eyes are on the prize. The empress is all about creating of ideas, families, growth, fertility. She's the point at which things start moving. So whatever idea or thing, whatever it is, wait until the beginning of the third month. I, I that would be. I think the beginning of the third month would be the better time for this. Two months. Give yourself four four weeks, and then another four weeks. Give yourself a good eight weeks to really iron out what lifestyle changes you need to make give yourself eight weeks to get your plan together give yourself if it's about relationship which i don't think it is give it eight weeks before you make any decisions don't make decisions today don't be tempted to make decisions in six weeks time wait eight weeks wait until the beginning of the third month don't let anyone rush you you're going to be quite keen on where it's going the knight, the knight of swords likes to rush things. Don't let them, don't let yourself get tempted to rush either. Nothing's, anything good doesn't take a day to make. It takes a good solid foundation. Then we have the three of pentacles reversed. 
which is work problems, problems with resentment and problems with teamwork. Anyone who you're trying to get on board, if it's a relationship, you're going to have problems and maybe arguments. Maybe they want to work at a different pace and you now recognise that you can't rush it, that you need to take your time. You're going to really take your time and build a solid foundation for yourself. So let's look at the next six months. We have the King of Pentacles reversed, the Hierophant reversed, the Nine of pentacles reversed so whoever wants to rush you is going to cause you to have resentment and work problems and you're not going to want to work with them they're going to, they're going to get quite nasty at the beginning of the fourth month they're going to be a bit of a bully because they want what they want they're going to be um insensitive they're all about earning money they they want your money they they they're trying to force you into into a decision and you know it's wrong because you've got the empress you know where you want to go the hair fat reversed is all about being unconventional you need to get advice from someone but be careful who it is. It may be misleading advice. You aren't all about tradition. You quite, you pride yourself on being unique. You know they're wrong. You're going to really resent them. And towards the middle of the fourth month, you are, you're going to know that the unconventional way is the way to go. Trust your own guidance. Don't take anyone else's. They may, if anyone gives you advice, check it. Go on Google, whatever, check it, get backup advice because they they may think they know everything and they don't. They may give you the wrong advice that can cause you problems later. And then we have the nine of pentacles reversed, which is about assets compromised. Any advice that these are trying to give you, don't take it. Get your own advice because it will be your finances that come into question about it and you don't want to be you don't want to be worse off because of someone else be you know you it may be whoever you've rejected or whatever idea it was you've rejected in the past to lead you down this path they may be coming back in and trying to drag you back in if you don't want it don't do it protect your assets don't let people know when you get paid don't let people know when you've got money when uh, you go to a bar or a restaurant, don't be the first one to get your wallet out. Don't let people know you have money because they want to spend your money. Don't let anyone spend your money. It's yours. Keep it to yourself. Keep your mouth shut about your money. Don't let people know you've got savings. Don't let people know anything about your money. If someone knows when your wage is coming in, whoever it is that texts you two days after your wage is coming in, asking you to go out there, the ones that have got a little book of who gets paid when. They like spending other people's money. Don't let them do it. So we've got the Eight of Wands for the fifth month. We have the Strength card, which is lovely. You're going to really stand your ground from whoever it is. It's either dragging you back in or trying to take advantage of you. You're not going to let them. And then we have the Nine of Wands reversed. So the Nine of Wands is about um, action and house move. So if this is about a house move, wait for the fifth month. It's going to be quite hard. It could be, this could be the time that you move. It could be about travel. It can be about action. So your first two months is going to be all about putting a very good plan into place, resolving any vices that you've got. Don't let the devil keep dragging you in. The beginning of the third month is when you're going to start and people are going to try and take you off track by the end of the for a uh, fourth month you're going to have you're going to be really protective over your money you're going to be protective over what's yours you're not going to be so keen to give it to anyone the beginning of the fourth month the fifth month is going to be very good there's going to be action whatever ideas whatever the birth whatever started then it's going to move up and then you're going to get strength. You're going to start leading people. Whoever's been, whoever these people are who are trying to take what's yours, trying to bully you into something, you're going to come out leading them. 
they're going to look at you with a lot more respect they're going to trust your judgment you're going to feel empowered you're going to feel strong you're not going to let anyone take you off track you're going to be really quite secure in yourself and then the nine of wands is about being inflexible you may need to take a new approach but i think the strength is going to give you that you're going to you can say right well this hasn't worked for me maybe you let too many people know your ideas when this idea comes in don't let too many people know you're gonna you're gonna there's gonna be a real shift in your energy in the fifth month at the end of the fifth month you're gonna put all of the whatever it is that's holding you back whatever it is that stops you from getting in your good routine whatever it is that stops you from being motivated it's going to shift so let's look at the sixth month we have the magician absolutely fabulous you're going to have everything that you need to move forward then we have the page of pentacles which is brilliant it's just not what i want to see it's about promotion a period of learning apprenticeship things that are going to lead to money it's going to be hard it's going to be the first five months it's going to be hard the fifth month is going to be your key month let your ideas brew keep them to yourself don't let too many people know because they're going to try and they're going to make you they're going to try and make you play their game you play your own game and then we have the eight of pentacles which is all about mastering your skills and and you're going to earn money from it and you're going to work hard you're going to you're going to suddenly anything that's been stopping you your vices they're going to be gone that they're gone by the fifth month they're gone you're going to have the fifth month and the six months which is good eight weeks of working to your future the magician's going to come in and it's going to be the reward from the universe that you need the universe is going to recognize the hard work that you've done over the five months before and it's going to come in it's going to this is exactly what we want to see this is really good i feel really happy about this reading it's going to be hard um you're going to have times when you doubt yourself you're going to have times when the devil's going to pop up and going to try and drag you back to whatever it is that you've just rejected the king of pentacles is gonna come in and try and cause a bit of trouble the knight of swords is gonna try and rush you into decision you're gonna feel a lot of resentment you need to let go of the resentment you're an unconventional person you need to protect your assets and then things are going to change once you realize you hold on to your money it's your money it's for your future you need to work for it you need to earn it and and when you do that it brings you so much happiness if this is about relationship which i don't think it is if you're in a relationship and you're thinking should i step up the next level there's going to be a lot of conflict and i think you're going to end up walking away from them so if they say move in with me i wouldn't move in personally i think you're going to go out on your own this is all about new beginnings for you so it's now the right time this very moment right now today no the next four to eight weeks no not really but in the next four to eight weeks you can be making plans and actions of how to put this into reality you've got a lot of groundwork to be doing and you can do it the empress is there waiting for you on the third month she's waiting for you she's going to be helping you to guide you to make the good decisions against the people that are going to try and throw things up for you you're unique you're unconventional and that that's good for you you're going to protect your money you're gonna there's going to be action action comes in in the fifth month you need to be flexible you'll need a new approach and then the magician's going to come in and back that up you can have everything that you need he's the creator he's the whatever you want at the beginning of the six months that is the time to write your manifestation list your dreams your wishes your hopes and it's going to come in it's going to come in and it's going to be hard work i'm not going to say it's not because it is i'm not going to sugarcoat it never do you never will so let's have a look at the oracles so we're going to ask the oracles for any overriding themes that we've got that we need to hear to help over the next six months things to avoid things to go for you're going to come out of this feeling a lot more empowered and 
I think right now you don't feel you have much power or control. You're going to have, you're, you're going to be the boss by the end of the six months. You're going to be the boss. You're going to be on the right track. I, you know, come back in six months to let me know what happened because I'd really like to know. If this makes sense to you, leave me a comment below to let me know. Give me a thumbs up to let me know if you don't want to leave a comment. Not everyone does. Just give me a thumbs up and go, yeah, do you know, you, you're talking sense. The tarot is an amazing tool. So if we take our energy down again, focus on is now the right time. We can ask the Oracle to give us further insight over the next six months. And this is the one that I'm drawn towards. Power, which backs up the strength. You're going to come out of this stronger. Passion ignited. The Empress and the Magician. It's all about your sixth month. This is all about your fifth and sixth month. You've got a lot of work to do between then. Financial material changes. So you've got four, you've got four months of work to do. You've got four months of battling yourself and your vices. Then you've got a little bit of a battle with the people around you. Maybe it's the people who you've rejected and the people that tie you into whatever you... You know, you're going to come out of this so much stronger in the oracles. Just reconfirm. It's all about your fifth and your sixth month. They are going to be the most important. Eight weeks are going to be hard. Then it's going to get easier. And you're going to start standing your ground against people. You're going to embrace who you are. You're going to protect your money. You're going to sit on your money. You're not going to let anyone know you've got money. If you've got money. If you don't have money, it's going to start coming in on your sixth month. You're going to be empowered. Eights are about progress, strength, empowerment, building your character. We've got quite a lot of eights in the reading. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be hard work. Maybe come back every month and check the reading just to let yourself know things are gonna get better. But you need to make it work. If you don't make it work, then none of this is going to happen. There's a lot of things that you need to resolve. So I'm going to ask the charms for any further clarity that they can give you today for the next six months. So your angels are going to be trying to guide you. Remember, if it is drinking or anything, we need to have a clear head for us, our angels to be able to speak to us, to guide to us. But they're going to be reinforcing the magician and the passion ignited. You're going to really, on your sixth month, it's going to be your key month. That is going to be the right time for you. Your fifth and sixth month. Like we have a cactus, things are going to be prickly, we know that. It may also be about um, unconventional houseplants, things that aren't always sweet and cuddly, but they're gorgeous. We have an initial H, let me know if that means anything, because I'm dead nosy. We have food, make sure you eat well, don't overindulge. What you put into your body helps you, it gives you power, it gives you strength. If you feel your body full of rubbish things you're going to feel really bad about yourself so fill it with good stuff we have a cue which can mean question it may be an important initial for you so let me know it could be about your quest for the next six months it's going to make you i think this the next few months are really going to make you question who is around you make sure you always question people when they're trying to get you to do stuff it may not always be in your best interest we also have a p so we have a h and a p a p and a h so let me know if these mean anything and then we have a scorpio there may be a scorpio that you need to watch out for it also means a cup so it could be a relationship problems it could be a sting in the tail we also have passionate which 
reinforce and back up the empress and the magician and the passion ignited and the strength you know this is it's really good we have a beat we have a starfish which is about stars are about success and happiness and they are could be about beach could be about going on holiday it could just be about taking a holiday from life it can be hope stars are about hope and spirituality and calm and energies to try and keep calm when you think things are going badly come back and watch this reading again because it's not these people are going to make you doubt yourself don't let them the devil's going to pop up and make you doubt yourself come back to this read and watch it again because this, this is important reading for you we have a cat cats are really selfish cats are the ideal pets to have because they come to you if they're cold and they're hungry they come to you if they want comfort the rest of the time they're they're really quite selfish and they're the way forward and then we have um some bare feet which is all about feeling the earth and feeling the energy flow. The angels are trying to guide you. You need to open up and let them. They've already brought you to this point. They've brought you to this reading. They, they want you to get to your fifth and sixth month. You need to get there, though. You, you need to put the work in. You need to avoid the people that you need to avoid. Be careful whose advice, advice you take. When anyone ever gives you advice, check it for yourself because people think they know everything and they don't. So this is your six month reading for is now the right time. I hope it's given you some clarity and insight. I hope it's made sense. Let me know in the comments below because I really am nosy and I do like to know. If there's anyone that you think could benefit from any of my pick card readings, share my videos so that we never know how the universe is getting messages out to people. So I'm going to close our energy down today. I'm going to wrap you in a protective bubble so that you can go on with your day or your night or whatever it is that you're going to do. You've got a lot of work to do. Avoid the devil because they're just, they're not for you. Be, be strong. You are strong. You're going to come out very, very strong. So I'm going to wrap you in a protective bubble. I'm going to close the energy that's been opened between us for us to get this reading today. Take a deep breath out and feel the inner peace wash over you. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you again soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk. Reading number three, your energy has connected to the rune symbol that means wealth. Wealth and money and resources. This is your pick a card tarot reading for is now the right time. Let me know in the comments below what your theme is. Is now the right time for whatever. This reading is, isn't on a specific theme so whatever your question is this is for you this is the reading that your the universe and your energy has drawn you towards today because the energy because the universe has a a message for you so it may be is this is now the right time for a house move is now the right time to look for a relationship is this now the right time to leave a relationship is now the right time to change jobs is it now the right time to step your relationship up is now the right time to put your ideas into action is now the right time to reach out to the person who you've had an argument with is now the right time to make family decisions so whatever it is this reading's for you let me know in the comments below what your thing is because i am nosy Give me a thumbs up if you'd like me to make more videos like this. If you have any pick a card question ideas, leave that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. You never know when the universe has a message for you. I'm going to use this Rider White deck to do a six month overview. See what comes up. There may be a glitch or something in the next six months. And it may be better to wait a couple of months, a couple of weeks 
it may be now is the time seize the day we'll, we'll see what the tarot brings up and then we'll ask the oracle for an overview the overview energy any extra insight and then we will go into the charms and see what other things that we can get any other insight to help you make the best decisions for your life this reading is for you and it's about you it's important it's an important thing for you you know all changes are important and all changes have an impact so if we have a look at the next six months to see what themes are in maybe you may be thinking about changing a job and then it's all relationship problems that come up it may be something you haven't even thought about this may bring up something for you that you had an idea a couple of years ago that you put on the back burner and today this brings up it's that idea that you need to work with it may be you want to move but the next six months are just not viable or you want to move in the next six months is the ideal time so let's have a look and let's get some insight i've already reset both the decks i do that by dealing them into four piles and then i pull them back together and then i start to shuffle them and then while i'm asking the question i shuffle them so let's take the energy down a little bit and start opening up the energy flow between us so the universe can come through and give you some insight today the cards are being quite jumpy i personally any cards that jump out i put them back in again because i've been reading tarot so long that i know that if i put them back in if they were meant to come out they are going to come out in the reading and they will come out in the right place if if they jump out and i just let them jump out i don't know where the placement is that they were meant to be and if i put them back in and they don't come back out they weren't meant to come out so i don't do that i never have done that but these cards are very keen to be telling you something today so i'm going to give them a quick shuffle so if you start thinking about is now the right time, start visualising what it is you're asking, just have the question going over in your head, take a deep, deep breath out and a normal breath back in again and then a nice long deep breath out. I'm going to split the deck into four, means four seasons, four elements, four corners for your foundation. It also means four corners. Four angels are surrounding us, forming a circle of protection to keep the energy flow nice and open between us and the universe to get you the message that you need. This is a protective, safe place for you and me and the universe. So really focus on, is now the right time? The one that I'm drawn towards is this one, so we'll make a start with that. I'm going to do the first six months and see what kind of energies are out. So we have the death reversed. We have the nine of wands. We have the tower reversed. Right, well, the next month. I think what's led you to here today is... You want change but you're very resistant to it maybe you want change and the people around you don't want the change to happen whatever it is is now the right time there's something blocking it maybe your attitude it may be your energy it may be events around you if it's about a career maybe your boss maybe there's keeping you stuck in in the role that you, you don't want to be in and then we have the nine of wands which is about being ready be ready have inner strength You've got a lot of resourcefulness. And then the tower reversed is about a less dramatic change long term. There could be long term difficulties, but your foundations, whatever the resistance that you've got is going to unblock. You need to be ready. You have the resources that you need to go into the second month. You have the resources you need to cope with these dramatic changes sometimes we need things to fall apart beyond our control so that we can let go of them and move forward from them 
like sometimes you know when we have a, a breakup with someone but we kind of leave the door open and it leaves a back and forth and sometimes we have to destroy it to the point that they never want to reach us again which sounds quite harm sometimes we want to leave a job and make sure that our boss never rings us again sometimes we want to leave our hometown and go to a new place and we we don't want to be tempted to go back so we have to cut contact with some people so whatever resistance that you're having it may be frustrating you right now but be ready because it's coming the change is coming the first month isn't the right time but it's going to be you need to let go of whatever is stopping you then we have the Nine of Swords, which is about anxiety. We have the Queen of Wands, reversed, which is about unfaithfulness, self-serving. We have the Hierophant, reversed, which is about being unconventional and unique and misleading advice. And then, oh, right, so do next month and then we'll move on. So we have... Whatever is blocking you, you need to be ready because it's going to change. It's going to cause you anxiety in the beginning of the second month. You're going to be quite anxiety, a lot of anxiety. You're going to be worrying. It's going to be inner fears rather than external fears. You're going to, whatever it is that you need to be leaving behind, you're going to be worrying about the future. You're going to be worrying that it's going to be long-term difficulties. I don't think it is going to be. You are quite an unconventional person. Maybe you need to move away from other people's ideas of a traditional life path maybe it's people around you that don't want you to go away because they don't understand it but you do the queen of wands reversed is about someone who might be interfering someone who's putting their opinion on you and it's causing you a lot of upset maybe it's this person maybe a man or a woman who is resistant if you're in a relationship maybe it's your partner someone around you is resistant they put the nose in where it's not wanted they think they know a lot about everything but they don't they are quite self-serving and they are quite an unfaithful person so anything you tell them don't trust it it's going to stay with them if they say they're somewhere they might be somewhere else this part they're just not worth your time don't let them doubt yourself don't doubt yourself you need to be ready the cards are telling you to be ready so i think you can have a wake-up call wherever it comes with the queen of wands whoever that person is maybe man woman whatever maybe a family member maybe a partner maybe a boss someone the hair of that reversed is being unconventional someone's going to give you misleading advice maybe it's the queen of wands gives you advice whoever gives you advice in your second month in your second month check out the facts for yourself because they don't know everything they think they do they if they're giving you information about someone else check it out first because they've got their own motive so we go into the third month and we have We have the pen Knight of Pentacles and we have the Hermit and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is about being reliable, thoughtful and a road to success. I think whatever wake up call you have, whatever unblocks and creates anxiety and whoever this is that's trying to give you advice that's not correct don't listen to them whoever it is you you have this idea and they're not supporting you whoever it is just they don't know it if in your heart and you know that you can be successful or you know that this is the right time to move or if you know this is the right time for your relationship whatever it is they don't know it you know more than them you know yourself better than them then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is about being reliable, being thoughtful to others, thinking about what you want. It's the road to success. Look, he's looking out, he's 
got the whole world in front of him whatever it is you need to let go of whatever changes and blockages it's going to move forward the beginning of the third month today is probably not the right time to start anything because you've got a journey to go through first there's someone around you that you're going to get um, enlightened on and you're going to suddenly realize that you should never have been listening to their advice in the first place you've got the hermit which is all about learning to trust yourself within yourself it's about inner knowledge it's about seeking higher higher spirituality answers from something else it's about taking yourself off to a library and reading it's about you it's about disconnecting from whatever it is that's not great so I think your third month is going to be the month that is really going to be moving forward for this. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, which is about anxiety. Don't let your anxieties creep back in again. I can see that you get stressed quite easily and maybe you've got a bit of social anxiety. But whoever it is has been eating away at you. You need to let them go. It's, your anxiety is not going to be so much. Don't be too worried about money. Don't be worried about what you've got and what you've not got. Don't compare yourself to other people because I think you're going to have... You're going to think, well, whatever this is, is it going to bring me money? Don't think about that to begin with. Arm yourself with knowledge as best you can. Your third month is going to be your key month to start moving forward. So the beginning of your fourth month, we have the six of cups reversed. We have the hanged man. And we have the five of wands reversed. So the six of cups reversed is about living in the past don't get drawn back to them. If you have to cut someone out of your life, don't miss them. You might you might be looking at photos or looking on social media and, and just thinking, why can't things go back to how they once were? They weren't always what they what you thought they were anyway. Don't you know, we often look back at things and think that was the key time it wasn't you need to make some sacrifice the hanged man is letting you know there's a transition here for you it's going to open it up the universe is opening up in your third month and in the fourth month you're going to be working on it and you're going to realize you need to make sacrifices there's something that you need to let go of to open everything up and then we have the five of wands reversed which is about arguments conflict there may be a problem come up and it is linked to your past it is linked to the first couple of months it is linked to before that it's linked to what has led you here and then you're gonna you're gonna make a sacrifice no one's gonna be happy about it but it's you know we have to let go of things to move forward sometimes we need to move back to move forward sometimes we just need to sidestep and spend some time on our own whoever you disconnect from isn't going to be happy about it they're going to try and draw you into an argument or a problem they're probably going to try and cause problems with other people as well don't don't pay them attention you focus on you whoever's giving you advice is giving you the wrong advice anyway so then we have the king of swords the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords reversed. So the King of Swords is going to step in and he's going to, he's quite a wise person, he's quite assertive, he's a professional. He, you may even be taking legal advice on something to do with this person that's been stirring the pot and making you feel anxious. You may be having a contract come in you may need to take independent advice on a contract that comes in or legal papers that come in whatever it is that you're letting go of it's going to be good you just have to weather the storm that comes from it no great change comes easily or without problems but the king of swords is there there may be um, a male influence that comes into life it may be a family member it may be a partner so then we have the Four of Cups, which is about boredom, also quiet contemplation. So this may be your time you were, you disconnected, you wanted inner knowledge, you were worried about the money, you went back to thinking about the past and maybe you want to go back to what was blocking you. You need to make the sacrifice. There is going to be a bit of drama, of course, there always is. 
and then the king of swords energy is going to step in and you're going to feel a lot calmer you're going to reevaluate where you are in life you're going to sit and think about you i think in the middle of the fifth month is going to be the time where you finally take your deep breath and you've done everything that you need to do you've got rid of all the people that you need to get rid of beware of anyone who might be getting angry with you anyone who tries to rush you on anything any plans that you make make sure they're the right plans if something goes wrong watch your temper because it could land you in trouble you may get frustrated there may be that person may suddenly get really angry that they've they've let you've let go of the power they have over you that you've broken through and you've become stronger they they may freak out at the end of the fifth month because they realize that you're not listening to them you're not paying them attention you may even block them on social media the swords can be about the internet i think the internet could get too much for you this person's got too much access to your life if you need to block them block them you do what you need to do for you you are the most important person in your world you find it hard enough to keep in a routine as it is and you find it hard enough to put your ideas into action so we need to remove the people that make our lives hard so we're going to now look at this sixth month we have the eight of cups reversed we have the three of hearts the three of swords reversed and then we have the eight of coin the eight of pentacles reversed so i think don't be reckless you're going to be at a turning point in your fifth month and i think someone could be trying to lure you back into the drama don't be reckless don't be don't live in a fantasy don't don't be drawn back into the past you want to move into your future it is going to hurt to let go there's something you really need to be letting go of it's some kind of pattern that you make a bit of progress then you get anxious you make a you make a bit of progress and then you look at the past then you you make a sacrifice and someone's not happy and then you feel good again and then someone tries to upset if you've got a toxic person around you you really need to let go it's going to hurt to let them go it's going to be something quite upsetting it's the next six months whatever you're going through it's going to take time and it's going to take work on your heart on your behalf the eight of pentacles is about wasted opportunities so if this, if you let if you let this person keep drawing you back in or knocking your confidence you're going to miss out on important opportunities for yourself you're going to miss out they're going to if you keep it's like it's like a cycle you go round and round and round and round and i think at the moment it's really blocking you and there's going to be a dramatic change and it's going to be for the better and you're going to wake up and you're going to see this person for what it is but they've got some kind of they've got some kind of hold over you that you keep going back and you let them feed into your anxiety they they like feed it but i can see that each each month there's going to be a, a cycle where you come out a bit stronger and then you're either going to have to really hurt them like emotionally and say no enough is enough i cannot do this anymore when i'm disconnected from you i feel better when you creep back in i don't maybe it's a really unhealthy relationship maybe it's someone in your past who was like your first love or your most important love and you just feel connected to them but it's being connected to them that is really holding you back it is holding you back and the quicker that you can come to terms with that is what the issue is 
the better. So we need to have heartbreak and we need to have pain so that, that can subside and we can heal. You are going to heal and you are going to have opportunities start coming in at the end of the six months. So that's a good sign. There are going to be opportunities, but you're not going to be ready to take it. You need to heal. You need to spend the next six months. Now is not the right time to make any drastic lifestyle changes but now is the right time of starting your process of recognizing who is good for you and who is not good for you what behavior is good for you and what behavior and worry is not good for you you're going to have a lot of realizations you're going to be searching within you're going to be making sacrifices you're going to be feeling strong you're going to make you're going to reevaluate and change your options and i think it is this key in the fifth month where you sit on your own and you really sit there and think about what you need and that's going to have a chain of effects that are not going to be very happy but it's going to need to happen it's going to cause heartbreak for someone else or it might be heartbreak for you maybe you need to finally cut that person out once and for all so that you can take opportunities there is going to be opportunities to come but you're not going to be ready to take it but you will be because you're going to once this happens you can heal from it at the moment you're delaying it you've been delaying it but you are going to have, you're going to have the point where you think my life is about me. My life is about what I want. Whatever it is that you want. It, it will, it will come. You have the road of success. You have the knight of pentacles. You have the wisdom of the hermit. You have the hanged man, which is about transition and change. And change is never easy. No one around us like it when we change because it makes them doubt themselves and it brings anxiety within themselves. So if this is making any sense to you, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really interested and quite curious. If it is making sense to you and you don't want to leave a comment, just leave me a thumbs up just so that i know that this has resonated with you because it is important to me so we're now going to ask the oracles to give us any further insight into this next six months and also beyond because things i do believe are going to get better you're going to have opportunities start coming in after six months that you will start being able to take because you're going to be strong enough So I'm going to split the deck into four and then think, focus on your question, is now the right time? The one I'm drawn towards is this one. Just think where you want to be in a year's time. So much can happen in a year. I mean, so much is going to be happening in six months and you're going to be a much more knowledgeable person about yourself. So think where you want to be in a year's time. We have emotional loss. You're going to be having to let go of something so that you can move forward. If it's a relationship that you've been clinging on to, that you've just been clinging on to for too long, you're going to have to let it go. You need to choose wisely, choose who you have in your life, really wise, be wise about your choice, be thoughtful, that backs up the reevaluate. And then we have authority, that's the king of swords. You know yourself, you're going to come out of this knowing yourself so much better. There is someone or something you need to let go of. If it's a habit or advice, you need to let go of it. It's going to hurt. It's going to be a sacrifice, though. You do need to do it. You do need to do it for your own well-being and your own future. The next six months, I think, is probably going to be the most important six months of your life. And it's going to really lay down a really good foundation for you for the rest of your life. You're going to realise who this person is who puts their nose in where it's not needed and they're not as intelligent as they think they try and give you wrong advice but they probably think it's right advice so i'm going to pull some charms to see if we can get any other insight today
So we have the crown, which is the king of swords. I think when the king of swords energy comes in, that's when your strength is going to be the most. And so that's during the fourth month. And then we have two angels. They are trying very hard to guide you. They are trying to. They they want to get you through this. They they're gonna be there for you when you withdraw and really think about it. They're gonna give you the hope. During the third month, you're gonna see where your path is going. You're gonna see what your future is, and you're gonna see what you have to make changes. We have Scorpio, which is the ones, which is the cups, so that's about um stings in relationships it may be a scorpio who you're having to let go of and that means passionate then we have a cactus which is prickly and then we have the wise owl you're going to come out of this much wiser you're going to know who to trust and who to turn to you're and that's a four that's a very good number that's a good foundation that's about plans and it's good and then we have the ballerina shoes. You're going to learn how to dance. You're going to dance through life a lot better. You're going to come out of this a lot stronger. Whatever it is today that you've now realised that is this the right time to let go? I think it is. Any vices you have, this is a chemical symbol. So it could be caffeine or chocolate or it could be eating too much. Anything that you're putting into your body that's upsetting your system. It could be about hormones. It can be about uh, substance abuse. It can be about drinking too much. It could be about self-medicating. If it's self-medicating that you need to let go of, I think you really do need to do that because you really need to go through that process if it is some kind of rehab that you need to go to you need to do it it's not doing you any good your angels really want to communicate with you and they can't if your body is full of things that are just throwing you off so let me know in the comments below if this has made sense to you come back in three months time or a month's time or six months time and let me know if this has meant anything because I am curious. No, I would like to know what you're going through. So I'm going to close down our energy today. I'm going to wrap you in a protective bubble and send you on your way to your next six months. You're going to come out of this stronger. You're going to come out. You're going to know. You know more than anyone what is right for you. You know more than anyone what is right for you. So I'm going to wrap you in a protective bubble so that you can go on about your day or you can go to sleep, whatever it is you're now doing. And close the energy down between us. Thank the universe for its insight. If you know anyone who could benefit from reading and um, watching my pick a card readings, please share my video. I'd be very grateful. You never know when the universe has a message for someone and it has peculiar ways of reaching us. So I'd like to thank you for watching today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will see you again soon. Personal readings are available on my website, hopetarot-daily.co.uk.